Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So, today I am home, you guys. So I decided to kind of try to get caught up on things around the home. I only have one day off until probably like not till next week sometime. So, yeah, let's get down to it. Sorry, the mess in the background. I've always wanted a table, you guys, where I can like do my have like extra space where I can maybe do some crafting or even like maybe do my journaling and kind of spread out and all because my desk is kind of small but all it's been since I put it in there is like a catch-all for everything else so yeah really trying to clean that up but anyway as I promised you guys all those shawls that I showed you and then the previous ones that I made, like the triangular ones and all, those are going to go to uh, London Health and Rehab Center in London, Ohio. I went on Warm Up America and they have this campaign now for quite a few months uh, where they actually are looking for lapgans and shawls for various uh, senior centers across the 50 states. So just find one and they actually give you a list up there for each center how many shawls and how many blankets they are looking for so um just go on there find one the closest one to to send near your home and so you will you can avoid the postage i'm going to send it to the london health rehab center in london ohio and so i'm going to stuff that box with as many shawls as i can hopefully i can get at least 10 in there the thing is with it's so you know because the shawls are big and bulky it's not like hats you can stuff a box and send like 30 40 hats and the box isn't that big but with shawls and blankets it's a different thing so i'm going to try to stuff it as best as i can and send as many as i can out there now also i did receive um a card from knots of love where we donated like um, a couple baby blankets and a whole bunch of kids uh, children's hats in various sizes they did send me a card and they did oh, excuse me and they did write on the back you know personalize it like you know welcome to the knots of love family and then they sent me something i've really never had to do and that's a um, a form to fill out the next time I want to send them a donation um, I've never really done that before I've never had to do one before but they're asked to do that before I mail it in so we'll see what happens um, okay next thing I bought something for myself uh, I don't know when I'm going to be using that eventually because I really keep my nails short, you guys. But um, hold on a second. Sorry, you guys. I had to turn off my notifications. I turn them off and they always like turn themselves back on. I, it's like crazy. I, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I do have a friend who sells um, the Color Street um, nail strips. And so I bought a whole bunch of, for myself. Uh, I don't really like bold colors for myself. I kind of like neutral. Even though I keep my nails pretty short now and I really don't paint them or anything. But I did at one time have really long nails. And I do like to do my toenails. So, and um, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually thinking about growing them back again because I really never had problems growing nails, you know. It, but anyway let me show you because these seem kind of like you know you just press them on and you don't really have to do a lot of work with them like as if you were putting nail polish on and the base coat and the 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 strengthener and all of that and i think it it also keeps it um pretty good with the chipping and all so it's supposed to be an easy peel and apply i don't know i'm gonna i'm thinking about growing them back again and trying it out I will try to put her link down below if you are interested in getting any of yourself for yourself but I'm going to show you the ones that I did buy and this this is the Giza Sands I like neutral colors I'm not a really pizzazzy like you know for my daughter I did get her a whole bunch of um, 
real, you know, polka dolls and brights and all of that. I'm not really into that. <laughs> I don't want my nails to be standing out like that. This one is Manchester mauve, which is really like uh, nice mauve colors, like, you know, darker pinks and I like more neutrally. This is very kind of pizzazzy for me, <laughs> this next one, but you never know. If you have nice nails, it does look good. And now, uh, nowadays, people do with solid color and they mix print or something. So this is Rule of Plum. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little bit of a pizzazz to some of them. And then I have the nice... Um, French manicure, meet me in Paris. Always wanted to do that. We'll see how it goes. I am thinking about growing them out and uh, we'll see <laughs> how that goes. Anyway, as you guys can see, the next thing I've been working on are headbands and for myself. Now, I am not a headband. I've never been a headband, a headband kind of person, but ever since I started working, and I work with seniors. I work in a nursing facility uh, where it's assisted and independent living. So uh, we are required to wear a face shield and a mask. And of course, uh, the center is kept very um, warm. They like it very warm. They're always cold. So I find myself sweating a lot. Like it's just there's no room to breathe and all so I thought let me put my hair back let me make a headband and these are the yarn bee little dollops you guys and uh, I bought these for at the Hobby Lobby clearance um, for 49 cents and I remember buying them thinking well you know what are you really gonna do with a one little dollop you know but the thing is you guys these are actually the perfect size for my headband and like this one is the berry the bella berry that i'm wearing and i actually have a little bit left over so every time i made one i had a little bit left over <laughs> oh you know i didn't want to do it maybe i should have done it a little bit more but this is kind of how i wear it when i go to work and it is 50% acrylic and 50% um, cotton, and it really does absorb and keep me cool. So it absorbs the, you know, the the heat, the, the sweating, you know. So I'm going to show you. This is one that I made. This is the Bella Berry, and it, I decided to make them in just a basic, simple um, double crochet. That's it. I didn't even, I'm not even, Some. I shouldn't even say that, half a crochet. Is that what, how you say it? No, no, not half a crochet. Single crochet, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm saying. Only because I found that they stretch. They tend to stretch. So I've ended up making them even a little bit smaller than what you would think. Because when you put them on, they, they stretch. And they tend to kind of leave, be stretched after you're done wearing them. So... I'm going to show you in, in a sequence because <laughs> this is the last one I just made. I haven't even worn it yet. I'm going to wear it. I'm wearing it now. I'm going to wear it to work tomorrow. So this is the Bella Berry. And if you notice, it's just a, a lot of grays and some mauve in it. You know, that's how it's looking. And then let me get me my paper because what I would do is I would make my desired width, then I would take the leftover and start a new one and then add another dollop. So, okay. So this one here is the Carmelicious. And you see how, how it's stretched when I, when I ended up putting it on, even though it was smaller, but it's stretched. So this is the Carmelicious. And as you can see, it does have the tulps colors. So then from Carmelicious, the little bit left over, you see, is the next one I made. Here's the rest of it. And I made the Sunnylicious color, which is this part right here. I should turn it around. This right here, 
the yellow and the pink and the and this part here is the caramelicious still part of it here's another one the sunnylicious is this part here so then I had some left over don't look at my ends I was able to make part of it is uh, sunnylicious and then this part here the blue it's pudding pie so I have quite a few of these they were 49 cents so I have four five that I only used one two three four dollops four dollops and I made five headbands so I can interchange them every day for myself so I think 49 cents you know, I'm kind of glad I did pick it up because, you know, when I was, um, when I was looking at them, I was like, what are you going to make with this little dollop, man? Is it worth it? But then I thought it's 49 cents. I will find some use for it. I will make something with it and it will be just fine. So now I'm going to save this part of it, the, the end. And this is mostly, I think, the grays and the blues of the, which one is this? The Bella Berry. And because I have a project that I'm going to be starting, I'm going to make a quick little project for a prize entry for some, uh, for a church. I'm going to be donating something for a raffle that they're having. Um, they're raffling off a basket of stuff and I'm going to make a couple things for them, kind of wrap it up. I will show you what that is and I'll be using my cotton or like this one is 50% only cotton and acrylic. But anyway, you guys, that's what I have. I have my little dollops. I, I was using them. I think I might have had a, one more somewhere, but I have not. I am trying to organize my uh, my table so I can use it. And also, I'm, you know, I'm bringing out my yarn because I have been crocheting and kind of depleting. So then I got more to put in but anyway that's what I've been doing today I did my laundry I cleaned my house and then I'm going back to work tomorrow so <laughs> that's how it looks but anyway that's what I've been doing the last couple days and I will see you guys tomorrow bye bye